up guys it's Tyler from the TTA organization today we're gonna to be working with the Bravo M900 flashlight um, I got this at River City Airsoft for 80 bucks last year um, they recently just broke down on me so today we're gonna to do a little hillbilly fix on it or a redneck fix as you could say um, this flashlight comes it's built with polymer po polymer grip and a aircraft aluminum flashlight metal parts the only part that's not aircraft aluminum is this part that broke down on me right here see what the problem was this screw down here was loose and it was flapping up so I was I've been tightening these and these not thinking there was a screw under here so how would you know there was a screw under there I don't know it's my first time owning one of these so it's probably one of the problems and then had so much pressure built up right here it just split down because I've been running it would be on the rail it would be running like this it would be flopping up and not knowing the screws down there I'd be tightening these screws and this screws screws so like I said we're gonna do a little fix now my idea to fix this is we're gonna we're gonna put a piece of metal right here to fix this it's gonna hold down this area right here and I'm gonna retap this screw right here with a bigger screw and probably a much longer one not not too long just a little bit longer now let's get to work so just get your out your Allen keys try to find your right ones your 3 eighths or your 3 sixteenths your 3 fourths whatever ones you have metric it's standard these are metric since this is made in China all these bolts on here are metric or all these allen screws I'm sorry so after we get this last screw, do not drop it. Don't mix up these screws because they are both the same sizes. Well, if these are the same. These are not. These are bigger. It's probably got some Loctite on it. That would be a good idea after we're done with this, we're going to put some Loctite on these screws so this problem does not happen again with any other screws. So after we take these screws out, don't get them mixed up. Okay, and here's our problem right here. This screw right here. That's a problem. So do not lose this piece. Do not lose any of these screws. That would be a problem. So here's what happened. Split right down. Fucking aluminum. Aluminum sucks. I suggest not getting anything that's aluminum. It breaks. Not even fucking aluminum gearboxes. Or what am I talking about? Gearboxes. The aluminum lower half. So you don't want to get one of those. I would rather get steel. Steel is everything. Steel never dies. Okay. So now that we got everything off, the portion, this portion of the light, we're going to go upstairs in my garage and we're going to fabricate a piece of metal that holds these down. Let's go do that right now. Hey guys, we're back in my garage. So the idea here is I just got a normal piece of steel and what we're going to do is um, we're going to make, you see this little dip right here, we're going to, we're basically going to cut a little, we're going to cut this in half, cut a little piece out right here, try to fit that in here. And so the idea is it would, we're going to clamp it down with the screws and we're going to keep this, this whole piece clamped down with those two screws. And probably, I'll probably... I'll put some glue in there. Why not? Maybe put in another screw. But um, uh, I'm gonna cut this in half. 
So let's go do that right now. Okay guys, so we're barely done here. Now you can see that I left that hole there so I can adjust it on the tightness and agility to move around. Now it almost fits so perfect that the only thing I have to do is just cut off or grind off that little piece right here and then I would fit nicely in there. Then I can just drill another hole right here. So that's what I'm going to do. So guys, as you can tell, we are done here. I think I cut it off a little too much on this side. Doesn't matter. If I cut a hole here, it will still pierce it and will still hold it down. But uh, it will just uh, it'll be off the edge. It will not be in the middle of the metal. So that's a downer. But uh, still put some mighty ass glue in there to hold that shit down. And a bigger screw in here to hold that down and it, I should hold that down nice and as you can tell if you do put this on a rail it will not get in the way at all it's in there so well that it was almost designed to break like that and have someone do that so I'm gonna go ahead and drill the holes redo it all try to put it on my gun and if it works then you'll see it so let's do that so what is up guys I am back in I, my room so as you can see it is complete it works it feels great screws are sticking up a little bit but I can put some uh, Loctite in I haven't done that yet because I wanted to see how it fit but I can still uh, drill some bigger holes so the the dip of them would fit in those holes and um, push it down but it's doing its job how I did how I said so I'm gonna go put some Loctite on it and I'm gonna go try it out on my DMR so see you guys in that what is up guys so you can see it fits perfect no wobble no wobble this is the wobble from the receiver from the rail the rail is actually a piece of shit and this is starting to fall apart the front triangle sides turn on a part on me so anyways it was just an example fits well you know still works low light high light still works no wobble at all feels nice did its job at least it's not falling apart see this is an ex this is an example of not to throw away your shit and just to fix it because when this happens people just throw it away because they have so much money they can just go out and buy another $80 fucking piece of shit that's gonna go break on them again so 
This is Tyler from TTA signing out. See you guys in the next video. See you guys later.